Welcome to Taraba News. The headline. 11 in race for Jalingo, Yoro, Zing, Taraba federal constituency seat today. Today's National Assembly rerun election in Taraba state will once again trigger the traditional rivalry between the ruling People's Democratic Party, PDP, the opposition All Progressives Congress, APC, and the fledgling opposition party, the New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP. Going by the list released by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, 11 candidates will battle for the seat to represent Jalingo slash Yoro slash Zing federal constituency, otherwise known as JYZ, at the House of Representatives. They are Abdulrazak Jadado, the African Democratic Party, ADC, Jeffrey Edward, the Action Democratic Party, ADP, Aminu Mel, the APC, Almayiri Leonard, the All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA, Edison Solomon, the All People's Party, AP, Kaigama Hosea, the Labour Party, LP, Aminu Lyman, the NNPP, Sadiq Tafida, the PDP, Babanya Yamansu, the People's Redemption Party, PRP, Innocent Patrick, the Social Democratic Party, SDP, and Ahmed Habib of the Zenith Labour Party, ZLP. The seat has been vacant since April 2023, following the untimely demise of Ismaila Yasha of the PDP before he was sworn into office. With the conclusion of proceedings, the stage is now set for the exercise which would be keenly contested between at least four candidates. The frontline contenders are former federal lawmaker Aminu Mal of the APC, a Jalingo Prince, Sadiq Tafida of the PDP, Innocent Patrick of the SDP, Almayiri Leonard of the APGA and Aminu Lyman of the NNPP. Of these five contestants, Mal of the APC remains the most experienced, while Tafida of the PDP is the rookie. Tafida, an engineer and son to the Emir of Jalingo, Abbas Tafida, won the PDP primary by defeating nine other contestants who were more politically rooted than him. His emergence could be attributed to the power play within the ruling party. The fear, however, among party supporters is that giving the ticket to the rocky and expensive gamble that could backfire. The emergence of a former House of Representatives member, Aminu Mal as the flag bearer of the APC in the contest has even complicated the matter for the ruling PDP. Mal scored a total of 41 votes to beat four other contestants, including Kasimu Maigari who lost the 2023 National Assembly seat to the late Yasha. Mal, who was chief of staff to the immediate past deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, Idris Ways, is widely tipped to succeed the late Yasha due to his political sagacity, experience, acceptability and the relative consensus within his party. Unlike the ruling PDP where the emergence of the rookie as the flag bearer of the ruling party appears to have brought division and animosity within the fold. Conversely, the APC has since been united in respect of today's by-election election. After the primary, the other APC aspirants pledged to work for the success of the party in the general election. That gesture by the aspirants was unprecedented, considering the controversial nature of the APC primaries in the state over the years. One of the aspirants, Muhammad Alkali, an engineer by profession, said, we are ready to team up with him to make sure that the APC wins the election. Another candidate, Billy Aminu Umar admitted, this is the first time the APC would conduct a free and fair election. So what can you say about the election? What do you think is responsible for the low turnout of voters? I actually can't tell, even though because of the previous elections, maybe people have lost their confidence, maybe in INEC, because of what they are expecting, they are candidates who are expected to be the winner and later turn to win. The conduct of the election is that the election is going smoothly, free and fair. I was been here since morning. Uh, people are coming gradually, uh, casting their vote, going. There is no any chaos, anarchy that is taking place in where I am. That is the unit zero zero seven. Everything is normal. Did the election material did they arrive in time? Yes, they came in time because I was opportune to be here. Uh, some minutes to eight, when I came, I met them, everything is arranged, we, and they arrange it and they are waiting for voters to come and register, then they will call their vote. Thank you. You are agent of which party? I am agent of SDP. 
Okay. The same goes for Almayiri Leonard of the APGA. He emerged third in the 2023 National Assembly elections and wants to give it another shot. He is also of the Mumi ethnic group who are likely to stand by him this time around. Now, as has always been the culture in Taraba, religion and ethnicity would play a significant role in who emerges as the winner. These two factors would play a role over and above political party affiliation. The JYZ federal constituency is made up of Jalingo, Yoro and Zing local government areas. The Mumi ethnic group constitute the largest in population in the constituency but the Hausa slash Falani have always dominated the politics. They always churn out block votes during elections, especially in the state capital, Jalingo, which is more populated than the other local governments. This usually gives any candidate from Jalingo the edge. More often than not, candidates of the Hausa slash Falani extraction always emerge from Jalingo, while candidates from the Mumi ethnic group always emerge from Zing or Yoro with a far lesser voting population. Finally, security is expected to play a role during the rerun election. Jalingo and Yoro have never had it as bad as now in terms of insecurity. The level of kidnapping and banditry nowadays along the Jalingo slash Yoro axis is a serious source of concern. Observers say the tide of insecurity might affect voter turnout and the deployment of personnel and materials to the affected areas. Traditionally, residents of Jalingo do travel to their villages to vote during elections but the worsening security situation might deter them, thereby putting some candidates at an advantage and others at a disadvantage.